Hello, Buzzacals! My name is Halsey C, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included! Where last time uh, uh, we started off the uh, cooling of the, of the water here, which is going nicely, and planned out uh, the uh, temporary cooling loop uh, up here uh, that I want to uh, get finished today so we can actually see some progress up here because first thing we need to do is um, have this section uh, of bunker doors uh, automated so that we can see out with our scanners and our telescope. Um, and we need also a bunker door here, otherwise all the debris will fall all the way down here, which will not do. Don't need these tiles here because on this side uh, I decided I will have the uh, uh, the the pipe going up so as not to wiggle around here to the side, but basically have it parallel to the to the ladder. And this part down here has been completed. And let's have a look at our volcano, uh, which now is dormant. So we should see things going down a bit. Um, we have still too much pressure in here. But I think when we are at around um, 120 or so, that should do. And hopefully uh, at that point we get cool temperatures of the, uh, the hydrogen up here as well. Um, with around 80 degrees and then we can place in the steam turbines again and hopefully once the, uh, the volcano becomes active um, 40 cycles later uh, we have finally a working system fingers crossed Um, iron wise we are looking good we also have quite a bit of, uh, of steel that we can spend and we will need quite a bit of, uh, of steel because the last thing uh, we then have to do is uh, place in some robo miners so that we can take care of all the debris which is falling down. And the Robo Miners will face in this direction and the one in the back needs to be able to mine out up to, to here because these tiles are not reachable by this one here. But let them first finish the uh, platform and the pipe and then uh, we can see what new tasks we can give the uh, duplicates. So 
we have here bit of uh, bleep stone but not much oxalite and quite a bit of slime No, let's not mop up. Because that's one more thing the duplicates have to do. While I much rather have them work topside. And with all, all the uh, steam being pumped out here. Uh, this lower part fills up and also heats up a bit not that good let's have a look at the errands of the last cycle yeah it was quite a bit so hopefully in the current cycle um, they can accomplish more work. Or finish more work. So that they can check off some of the tasks. Looking at this wire, we only have 1200 watt uh, out of possible 2000 watt here on this wire which means we can add a few more doors um, so I think we can hook uh, four more and that should cover all the uh, area that we need for telescope and scanner but first let them finish the work down here and then of course we also need to uh, place in the robo minus They too will require power. So that's where, where the second transformer comes in. Now they travel with the tube up to here and then walk the rest down they take the the pole and we can even extend the pole to here and then have it further down. Now I think we have something new in here. Uh, mock root? No, thank you. That's not tasty food. That would have a negative effect on our uh, on our uh, rel. Speaking of which, we can all our duplicates have quite a few skill points that we can distribute, but I'm more interested in the morale they have 
and uh, requirements. So far, all are looking good, which is great. So here and there, can uh, add some traits. They move faster in exosuits. That's a plus then they will get faster around doing things and also carrying uh, more seems like a, a positive thing and we should still be good with uh, with the rel I mean, if they can carry more, they will have to make less trips uh, to distribute uh, uh, building materials, or they can collect more uh, stuff of the same thing. Okay, the uh, corner piece is there. Will need to be uh, built. But at least we are making progress here. We're getting there. Storage is not filled. The uh, new bins here are almost all empty. up down to here so we have quite a bit of iron that's uh, still here on the wire on the rail I should say at 15 degrees so cool temperature oh, okay this side is almost done and on that side, uh, we are not far off. Alright then, let's have a look at the last report. 55 additional errands ok 
Okay, this side is done. And this one almost. So I think I will continue with this. Looking up four more doors. done and uh, while we are at it we need to connect this transformer um, that's not high priority because the, the bunker doors on this side we will not yet open them them here which means um, they have a reach of one two three four five six seven eight so we can have a gap of um, six and then have the, the next Next one placed. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And here a tile like this. a bit cramped here on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six.
just like that. To deconstruct the ladder here. And the bottle and here. Here on top. Maybe we should wait until we have the drywall and the, uh, the tile below built. That might work out better. Um, this one also needs power. So. We will have fire going this way. Bridge. Because here we will have the heavy watt wire going through for our solar farm. Right here, we are already complete. So let's go a bit of uh, crude oil. plan that's how we will uh, do it and once this part is done we can actually automate um, these few doors and have our access to the sky and make more progress with the game so hope you enjoyed this episode and join me next time for another